Welcome back. This is part two of integration by substitution. If you haven't seen part one in the series, I recommend you click the link above or the link in the description. Um, it basically was a tutorial where I go through integration by substitution and teach you the, all the methods that you need in order to answer an exam question like this. So if you already know how to do that, take a photo of this and then have a go at it and we'll see if you are correct. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the exam question. I notice it's worth seven marks, so we should be able to do this in seven minutes or less. Start the clock. Um, find the integral of the 4x times the following. Right, in part one of the video, I stated straight away that this would be defined as u if they didn't give it in the question. So u is equal to x squared minus nine. Say du by dx was equal to two x. Now I'm just gonna move the dx up to the right-hand side. So du equals 2x dx. Now this looks very much like the question. We have a dx and a dx and a 2x, but we have a 4x here. So we want to make this here on the right-hand side look exactly like the question. So I just need to times both sides by 2. So we have 2 du is now equal to 4x dx. Okay, now that is exactly the same. So we're going to just stop there. And we are now going to rewrite the expression, but with terms of, sorry, in terms of u. So therefore, then we would have the integral of, now we're going to replace the 4x dx with 2 du. So we've got 2 and we've got du here. And then we had e to the u. And therefore, then we would now be able to integrate that with respect to u. So remember that would the two would just remain on the outside of the integral and we can integrate e to the u and you would just get e to the u divided by one. Remember you would divide by the derivative of the power, but in that case it's just one. So I'm just gonna remove that there now uh, plus c. And then now we just have to substitute the value of u back in, which would be e. And remember u was this initial substitution, which was x squared minus nine. So let's just put that in x squared minus 9 plus c and that is the end of part a of the question let's go ahead it says find f of x so that's the function given that the derivative was equal to that now we we just worked with that okay in part a of the question so when we integrated it we would move from the derivative function which was this we would move and find f of x. So that is exactly what we just found in part a. We just found f of x. That is this expression that I'm going to circle here in yellow. So let's just tidy that up a little bit, right? So we think that the expression is f of x is equal to 2e to the x squared minus 9 plus c. But we don't know the value of c, but they have given us some more information in the question. So if we just go over to the right-hand side here, we will see that they told us that when we substitute 3 in for x, the result for y would be seven. Okay, I know this is in terms of f of x, but just think of this as being when we substitute x in, the result would be y. So therefore then, seven is equal to two e, and then we substitute three in, so that would be three squared, which is nine, minus nine, which is zero, plus c. Now anything to the power of zero is just one. So that's seven equals two plus c, so c is equal to five. So our final answer for the expression, which would be over here on the right, would be f of x is equal to 2e x squared minus 9 plus 5 and stop the clock. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.